how would somebody go about eating seasonally to you know fuel their body with what they may need at certain points of the year yeah so i think also we have to think about with modernized society we've kind of taken the elements out right because we have central air and or heat. <laughs> so we're kind of not getting as much hormesis. Um, and when it's cold, we're not actually cold in our homes anymore uh, or as often or, uh, you know, same when it's hot, we're kind of temp regulating. So we've, we've overwritten a lot of these natural rhythms of the body, which would I think otherwise kind of demand a different eating structure. Like if we were sweating our faces off in Austin at 104, like it is, but not balanced, countered with central air, we would be very lethargic. We would not be eating heavy, warm foods likely. You know, I mean, the, the body is just going to kind of crave and demand based on the stressor or the environmental cue. Uh, so if we can try to stay in tune with the seasons, I think that's lovely. I'm a huge proponent of honoring God's most dynamic red light, which is the sun. Uh, we get amazing infrared therapy from sunrise and sunset. And so regardless of the season, if you're honoring getting outside during sunrise and sunset, I think that that really helps to kind of harness you to the season. Uh, and so with that, you know, we tend to think of like slow cookers and roasts and warming foods during the colder months. Uh, this also follows more of like an Ayurvedic or traditional Chinese medicine, a lot of warming foods when the body otherwise would have cold or stagnation. So you want circulation. You want to have capsaicins like spicy peppers going on at this time. Uh, you want to have, like I said, lower, slower cooks. You're getting more glycine in your animal products from things like short ribs or maybe a uh, like carnitas if you're using like a um, Boston butt cut or a pork shoulder. Um, a lot of these are going to be kind of seared and then slow cooked um, root vegetables we think of in the colder winter seasons. And then for sure, as we get into the brighter spring, I think spring represents a lot of like edible flowers, microgreens, sprouts, salads. This is when a lot of people are kind of called to do some form of a detox or a reset. Um, a lot of liver support seems to be very appropriate during that time. And then cooler foods uh, that are really hydrating and electrolyte balancing in the summer are very fitting. So this is where we see things like watermelon, cucumber. Uh, and like I said, we've unfortunately broken with modernized society. You can get watermelon all year. You can get strawberries all year. You can get tomatoes all year. Uh, but we definitely, when we feature our shopping at our farmer's market, we can still find ourselves anchoring back in to what's seasonally available. And I think that that can be really helpful. 